What's good, Homo Squad? It's your boy, Homo Ziggy. We back here with another reaction, and we back with some more SB19, and we got Crimson lyric video. Now, I know most of y'all say that y'all want me to do like the one on the live performance, but let's be honest. To me personally, right? This is just me. Nine times out of ten, when it comes to a certain live performance, even though I like to see the artists like to do their performance and such which is which is obviously that you want most artists to do when it comes to their like most popular song you want them to perform it live and such but let's be real nine times out of ten me personally I just want to see the lyrics like I want to make sure I don't hear any other aspects of basically don't want to hear any other sound other than just the music itself so that way if anyhow when I go to another or you want to hear from another live performance I could like repeat the lyrics and such so I got the lyric video so and plus you already know with me when it comes to the lyric videos when, when it comes to the music I always want to hear the lyrics and always want to see the lyrics because I can never understand how people when they first hear a song they instantly know the lyrics by heart because nah, I don't believe that you would have to have to literally get the lyrics up and such in order to repeat it and such. But either way, we about to check this song out. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my socials up there. And without further ado, let's get in the video. just came in straight first they got that like freaking rocked that like chant and such I don't know what it's called but then that beat came in and such oh, no. run, now we run we go all night like we lose the and now we run on your son and then it is your part such because normally the boy bands always got that stereotypical sound where 
it panders to like the females and all that which is cool hey get your fan base and such but I feel like that's what most of the times the boy bands in a way to me completely like don't get in much love because it's always just t t directed to one specific audience which is the girls more specifically teenage girls which is kind of weird if I'm not gonna lie but with SB19 I ain't gonna lie not only they still have that vibe where it can be to the teenage girl audience but with the way how the beats are and the vibe is and such this is definitely hip hop vibe for sure so this can go to any audience <laughs> got that hip-hop vibe where it really just get that sauciness and such and then the way how they switch into like their different languages from English to then their native tongue and such bro I can see why there's a lot of fans on and I bet you there's a lot of English fans as well because they it gotta be they just got to be not only their Philippine Filipino fans but also some US fans because obviously they're performing on like the Wish USA bus and such like and other US platforms and whatnot so trust me I can see why a lot of people tapped into them because not only like I said they got that boy band type stereo but nah they switch it up they give you like a hip hop vibe then in a way with certain plus with their music videos and such you can tell like they really are culture and such if i remember correctly one of their music videos which was the it was the one where they were going through different hold on hold on i'm gonna look on it on my phone i don't care it was the one where they were going through like different genres of how music was and such which one was it? the way you act one bro they, it shows you like they have their different tastes it just shows you that their culture and such <laughs> This song was talking about how and I read the description a little bit and such where it's like where it was saying about how this song talks about how their struggles and such their try and their triumphs as artists hey who said you can't sometimes it's okay to flex on a song that's what I'm gonna say right now because as long as you put in the work you put in actual work and such and it pays off yeah because because a lot of artists that even when they blew up they put in 50% of the work and 50% of putting some random shit and such. But for artists who like SB19 and Plenty More, and Plenty More, when they actually put in the work, like actually trying to write down their bars, trying to actually think of bars that not only people can like be like, ooh, and ah, and such, right? But actually hear some messages in their lyrics. 
them the type of music no matter what genre it is that people are act that people are actually gonna support taste of how the lyric video is and such and heard the videos and heard all the lyrics and such if y'all want me to do like the the live performance of it hey let me get some let me get up to at least 20 likes if I get up to 20 likes on this videos on this videos on this video I'm gonna do the live performance and such cuz I actually want to see how because already with the lyric video, if already was energetic as hell, I want to see how they are in the flesh with this song. But either way, y'all let me know what y'all thought about this down in the comments below. Because, bro, I can see why they taking over the world. And it's so surprising that they don't get pushed as much than most mainstream artists. Which is crazy. But hopefully, I hope like Easy Mill... Cause if y'all if y'all saying what is true that Easy Mill and SB19 are like actual friends at they like actual like this and such, I'm not saying y'all are wrong and such. But if you are true, cause I don't know personally, I don't know if it's true or not, cause I've never seen them collab and such. But if it is true, I hopefully I hope to God that Easy Mill starts collabing with them too. But either way, enough of me rambling on and such. Hope y'all like this reaction, man. Make sure to go check out my other reactions right here. Follow me on my socials up there. And stay positive and keep the vibes up. Lego. <laughs>